Welcome back to this uh, video on the solving of nonlinear, the solution of nonlinear equations using bracketing methods. In the previous videos, we were talking about the bisection method, uh, and in this video, we will introduce what's called the false position method. The false position method actually is uh, uh, also a very simple one, but uh, Liz, uh, needs a little bit more mathematics than uh, the bisection method because uh, uh, it introduces a very simple new concept, which is if the bracket uh, is uh, lying between x1 and x2, the ones that we know, uh, then instead of just splitting it into two, we draw a line joining those two points. Uh, the function for the line can be found by uh, the line equation, uh, which can be written in this form, f1 plus x minus x1 times f2 minus f1 over x2 minus x1. Actually, uh, this is very simple algebra. The, the line equation is uh, well known as c plus mx, where c is the um, point uh, of intersection with the y-axis and m is the slope. If you rearrange these terms, you will get uh, the same expression with the values of C and M expressed by the values by of X1 and X2, as well as the functions uh, function value at X1 and X2. Now, if we set the value of this uh, function to zero, uh, we find where this line intersects with the X axis. So actually, if we set y equals 0, we find the root of this line. The root of this line, if you uh, replace y by a 0 and rearrange the terms, you get the value of x as given by this expression, which is x1 minus another uh, ratio between x2 minus x1 over f2 minus f1 times f1. Uh, again, uh, this is simple algebra. I will not go through the details of it. However, now I can assume that this new point is uh, a, 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 an approximation of the root we are looking for. Here, let me uh, stop for uh, a small moment and uh, say uh, that even through this graph, we had this similar graph in the bisection method. The root was, way, uh, the, the approximate solution was way nearer to the real solution. Uh, nevertheless, uh, in, uh, in general, we can say that the uh, false position method should approach the solution faster than the bisection uh, method. Uh, the, the graphical presentation here uh, probably uh, does not really uh, show this. Uh, and unfortunately, the example we are using, we use the intersection method, also shows that the bisection is faster than the false position. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the calculations here, although not that complex, they are more than uh, what we needed to do for the bisection method. This also uh, actually is a negative point uh, in the account of the false position method. Um, generally speaking, the false position method should be faster, should be better. The cost, the computational cost is not that much, so uh, it's uh, uh, not a bad choice at all uh, to, to use for finding the, the root for the nonlinear equation. Uh, the false position algorithm, accordingly, uh, is exactly the same like the one we had for the bisection, initiating the values x1 and x2, uh, initiating the counter, and calculating f1 x, uh, of x2, f uh, of x, uh, sorry, f of x1 and f of x2. Then we go to the body of the algorithm, where we increment, again, the same step, but the only line that's going to be changing is the line of evaluating x3. Instead of taking the average, now we are taking a kind of a weighted average, if you may call it, uh, where uh, we use the formula uh, for the root of the line uh, that we presented in the previous uh, slide. Uh, then we follow by checking for the termination criteria. 
uh, if uh, they are not satisfied we uh, go and check the value of f of x3 and then replace x2 by x3 or x1 by x3 and return to the increment counter step so you can you can just see here how uh, similar this is to the bisection algorithm I have to admit, uh, although mathematicians would say that the false position generally is better than the bisection, by uh, false position is not going to be my personal first choice. The bisection is way simpler, way easier to think about and to visualize. That's why I prefer to use it in uh, any uh, method that uh, needs finding a solution. As a first choice, the bisection is a great uh, method. Uh, this concludes uh, the lesson uh, for uh, bracketing methods. Uh, I hope that it was useful. This is uh, the, uh, a lesson that uh, and you, can, you can consider it a first lesson in numerical analysis. In the coming lessons, we will uh, go into uh, deeper uh, numerical methods starting with the neutral Raphson method uh, or the open methods in general to find the solution of nonlinear equations which are generally generally faster than the bracketing methods but they uh, have the cost that they cannot ensure finding a solution remember when we were talking when we started talking about the bracketing methods we said that the bracketing methods ensure finding a solution uh, the coming uh, lesson about the open methods Introducing uh, it introduces better methods, however, they don't have the same uh, advantage of ensuring finding the solution. So, let's dig deeper into numerical analysis. Hope you will join me in the coming lessons. So, see you then.